Stu, just as another exciting Monday morning, how are you feeling? I mean... I am feeling incredibly well. I'm mm-hmm. looking at the state of the mm-hmm. economy. And did you know mm-hmm. that this president has added more jobs than any president in history? Everything's going incredibly well. And really, it's wow. it's just these Republicans who are who are smearing the job this president has mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. At least that's mm-hmm. what the president mm-hmm. tells me. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, yesterday and this weekend, I had to drive down to uh, Park City to uh, get to my art show. And I have to tell you, I was just thinking great thoughts about this administration as I stopped uh, at Subway to buy two sandwiches, two drinks, a couple of chips, and spent uh, just over $40. And uh, she said, it's, uh, you know, forty one nineteen, And I was like... I, I honestly, I looked around like she's talking to somebody else, and <laughs> and she just looked at me and I said, "For that? I mean, no offense, Subway, but forty one bucks for that?" She's like, "Yeah, the price has gone up." And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> "I had um, yesterday. I drove home. I had sixty dollars in my pocket, and." Um, uh, I had to I had to get some food for the boy. Uh, and a teenage boy doesn't eat much at all. Uh, and then I had uh, I had twenty four dollars left, and um, just from feeding the boy. And then twenty four dollars left to put gas in my car, which was really really great. And I got a whopping four gallons. And I thought to myself, <laughs> why didn't I vote for Joe Biden? <laughs> I mean, I just think this is fantastic. And then I get up this morning and I look at, you know, the stock market and I'm thinking, geez, my retirement, it's going well. It's going well. Everybody's retirement. You know, the one thing that it, living here in um, the center of the country or in a, a farming part of the country is you have a different perspective on almost everything. It's kind of weird. I got up this morning and it was raining and it was pouring here at the ranch and cold or cool and i i got up this morning and my first reaction when i get up in the morning and i'm in dallas and it's raining i'm like ah crap the first thing i did when i opened the window i said oh thank you lord thank you you have a different view on everything because you need the rain for the crops so you can eat and others can eat so your cattle can eat um you know i'm not really i'm not really down with the global warming thing uh right now if this is what it's going to take because no one no oh my gosh write this down i think this is a good uh phrase to describe what's coming no one will own anything and they'll be happy or they'll be shot but they'll be happy about it that's the way to do you know? it yeah i like that you know it's funny right looking right. at this uh, the economy as it comes out and watching the president's response to it you know there have been you know i was talking to a friend in pennsylvania this weekend who, who's filled up his gas normal cup normal vehicle not like a giant truck or anything 121 dollars to fill up in pennsylvania mm-hmm. and you realize what I, and i'm fascinated by this when Barack Obama was president and we're coming out of the Great Recession and there was this constant thing, we used to mock it all the time. They would say, you know, uh, we've now saved or created uh, two million jobs. And obviously, like, it was a totally different uh, approach at that metric where normally it would just be how many jobs you created. Well, they said saved or created. Therefore, like, in, it, like implicitly telling you, Look, the bottom line here is we know things aren't great, but it's better than you realize, and the things we're doing are making it better than it could have been if we weren't here. That was their message to the country. They acknowledged that things kind of sucked, but it really wasn't our fault. It was Bush's fault. It was the last guy's fault, and the things we're doing are making it more tolerable. 
That is not the approach of the Biden administration. The Biden, <laughs> the Biden administration is telling you things are great. What you idiots? Mm -hmm. Why don't you realize how good this is going? This is your problem. Maybe we need to get Joe Biden on the campaign trail more often so he can tell people how good they have it. And I don't know when you're filling up for $121 and you're paying uh, $42 for Subway sandwiches. I don't think people agree. It's not that they don't they don't hear your message. They just think it's ridiculous. So here's the uh, interesting thing here. Um, the, you know, because we do have such a great economy. It's just so great, Stu. I don't know what you're talking about, mm. but it's so great. And when Joe Biden says, hey, uh, you know, we have the fastest growing economy in the world. Well, that's, you know, if you leave off the list the other 50 countries that are doing better than the United States. And, you know, when I started looking into this, I thought, okay, all right. I mean, the UK did better than we did. Okay, well, it's, you know, it's England. And then I saw, all right, okay. Uh, you know, some other com uh, countries have, have done some, you know, some, some uh, better things with their economy. It's China. Uh, Italy, France, okay, okay, okay. Um, and so you're feeling like, okay, well, you know what? We're all on the same team, and it's a comparable country. So so, so maybe we're just a little behind. And then you get down. Um, you know, when I got to the E's, and I saw that Ethiopia is doing better than the United <laughs> States, I thought, you know, that, that, okay, all right. Well, that's just, you know, that's just kind of out there. You know, um, and then and then I found Libya is doing better than the United States. Uh, Guyana. I don't even know if I could find Guyana on a map. Guyana is having a stronger economy and bounce back than we are. So did I mention Libya? Because uh, I love Libya is, I mean, sure, it's in revolution and bombing and corruption and everything else. But they're doing better than we are. India is doing better than we are. So I, you know, I, uh, I mean, you know, it, we're close. We're close to the top. Just <laughs> Ethiopia just squeaked by us there. And I've always said to myself, self you know, it's time to share the wealth. Uh, it's time to make sure that the United States isn't the leader of the world. You know, maybe it's time for Ethiopia to lead the world. You know? Mm. When Ethiopia can afford gro No. When Ethiopia has groceries, and we're having trouble getting groceries... <laughs> Something is really wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just me. look, I, the growth off of Ethiopia's uh, economy percentage wise is better than us. I'm not looking to yeah. move anytime soon. I will. I will state that for the record. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> but, no. But it's fascinating because, you know, the growth, the growth here is uh, uh, is meaningless to people. And, you know, normally economic growth is really important. And, and of course, you know, you'd rather have it than not have it. But when you have 5% growth, say, and you have 10% in, uh, inflation, it doesn't hit people that hard. You know, they keep bragging about these wage gains. Well, people aren't feeling that because all of their costs are up so much more than they've gained in wages. Gaining wages is supposed to help you buy more things and afford more things. But if the things cost more right. than your wages go up, you don't feel that. In fact, you, what you feel is a pay cut. And that is what the American people are screaming out. And it's what the administration doesn't want you to think about. When the truck pulled into the gas station on, on Friday, uh, after three hours of uh, driving, two and a half hours of driving, and it pulled in, and I'm following, and one of the guys had to go to the bathroom. But I thought it was pulling in the gas station that meant that we had to refill that diesel truck. I was immediately thinking, I'm giving this truck away. There's no way. No, no, no. As he turned into the gas station, I'm like, no, 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 no. What? What? Why are we going to the gas station again? I freaked out. <laughs> it's like... 
Can, can you imagine if you have, a, if you're driving a tractor trailer, if you're driving any of these big trucks because you need to drive, it's not like you're necessarily driving a big truck because you like a big truck. Although in America, I think you should have that right and ability. But when you're driving a truck because you have to drive the truck, oh man, I just tell you, I think the I did that sticker on the gas station pump took on a whole new meaning to me, you know? And uh, I'd like to meet Joe Biden. I think he should hold his campaign rallies right around gas stations because I think people would flock to him.